the whole concept for Spirit of the Season came out of me wanting to try my hand at a holiday portrait session. I wanted to name it. For some reason, I wanted to name the, the series um, something specific. And all the names I came up with just didn't sound good. But then I came across Spirit of the Season. And I said, that just sounds nice. That just sounds cool. It sounds kind of like, like an official concept. And it, it made sense, you know? I, I hear Spirit of the Season and I think of the holidays. And so, you know, it, it made sense that it would it work as a name. And it, it did. I think it does anyway. Initially, when I first started kind of coming up with how I would do this, I did not have money for a studio yet. I was still kind of pinching pennies. And so um, the first shoot in the series actually was done in my parents' basement. It was a very low-key operation. It wasn't nothing crazy. You know, I had a 12-foot backdrop with um, a couple blankets, a couple, you know, sheets that would go up. I bought props, you know, and that's, that's another thing that I didn't think I was going to do was actually buy props for this. I thought it was just going to be, you know, maybe in Photoshop, add some stuff. But I was like, I want, to, I want it to be fun for the models, too, and for them to really get into it. And so I bought, like, fake snow. I bought ornaments, little little, little trinkets for them to, to pose with and to use. And um, it honestly turned out much better than I expected. Like, those first set of photos from that shoot are still some of my favorite photos um, that I've ever taken because not only are they well shot, well lit, and just really, really cool, but the the night itself was like seamless. Before you know the subjects got there, I was like, like, please let this not be crazy. Let them not think, you know, I'm super cheap because of the setup. I was just like, please let this work out. Jesus. And it did. I mean, they came and I got you know, some pizza or whatever. And I was able to eat. I was able to chill out for a little bit before we started. Um, the whole feel of the shoot was really light. Um, I just remember it being a really fun time. I just remember it being really chill. And I really enjoyed that first shoot. It gave me confidence that, hey, maybe I uh, am kind of good at this thing. Maybe, maybe this is going to work. I mean, I cannot tell you how happy I was with the final product of those photos. From concept to creation, it was just really, really good. And um, again, thank you to those models who, who shot that night with me. Y'all are amazing. I love that y'all was able to come out. And I pray that you guys have good memories from that shoot as well. It was great. That first shoot was in 2019. The next year, um, obviously, was 2020, and we all know what happened that year. Craziness. And so that year, I think it was more, it felt more necessary that year to bring some levity, to bring some, you know, some cheer, some happiness, some joy because of how crazy the year was. And so that year... Um, I forget if I even planned to do it again after 2019, but that year I said, you know what, I think it would be good to do another holiday portrait session. I think it would just be cool to bring some, some joy to my Instagram page, some, to some people's pages, right? And so that year, um, I always want to up myself when I, when I do things, especially when I do them again. And so that year, I really wanted to up myself from last year, of course, you know, last year I had the home studio, I had a couple props, um, and it was just, you know, it, it was it was cool, really loved it, but how could I make it better this year? Well, number one, do you probably shoot in a professional studio? That might help a little bit. And when I thought about subjects to shoot with, of course, I didn't want to shoot with the same people. I wanted to up myself this time and do things differently. And so I actually was able to shoot with a couple subjects who I actually shot with earlier in that year um, who were fantastic models in and of themselves. And so I asked them, um, I DM them and asked them if they would, would do it. They were excited, said, of course. And so, um, and that year I think I also had my sister help me. That first year was just me. And so I was looking after everything. And so my sister was able to help me that year. And she was basically where I was, you know, getting camera settings together and changing up scenes and things. She was the one kind of talking with the models, the one kind of 
helping them with the poses, the one kind of just, you know, being an extra pair of hands, and she was awesome. Shout out to my sister. She's, she's amazing, too. But um, models came. Um, I was able to give them, you know, time to sit and relax. And, I mean, if you look at the portraits from that shoot, they're just as good, if not better, than the first year. I mean, first of all, I was more comfortable with the holiday portrait thing. I kind of knew what, what to look for. And of course, like I said, the models were fantastic. Like, shout out to y'all for um, just being amazing at what y'all do. Like, it, it seemed kind of effortless for y'all. Um, but the portraits really gave off that, you know, that feel I wanted. That the whole, you know, uplifting, joyful, happy, Christmassy feel. Like that warm feeling you get around Christmas time. They definitely emulated that type of feeling. And um, I have a couple edits in particular that I did based off what the photos were giving me, based off what the photo faces and the poses were giving me. I made little edits and they actually were like, I was like, these actually aren't bad, Aaron. Did good job, man. And so that was just, I, I was real satisfied with that shoot. I was like, if I never do this again, um, this would fill me. This was amazing. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Come 2021, that year, I really wasn't thinking about it. I really wasn't thinking about doing another one because between the first two, I had done everything I wanted to do, I felt, with that concept. That year for shoots, it was a good year for shoots. I was like, I'm kinda, I've been busy all year. I don't really want to do anything else. You know, I'm kind of I'm good on this. But something brought me back into it. I couldn't tell you what it was, but I felt like the first two were good, but I like trilogies. I like doing things in threes, I guess. And so I said, I'm gonna do this one more time. And I think I know who I'm gonna do it with. There were a couple subjects who I worked with that year who, again, just had that, you know, seamless camaraderie, camaraderie with me that we kind of created some great photos without much work being put into doing it. And so I thought it would be great to have them do one more shoot with me for this series and the concept I said I can't do the same concept again you know I can't, it can't just be holiday portraits it can't just be joy happiness it's got to be something else what can I do to make this shoot stand out and I thought of white Christmas doing an all white shoot in general is nice but when you can add on that's a Christmas shoot it just I think it just fits it just worked and so the theme was White Christmas that year. And so, you know, the uh, the models were asked to wear all white. There was a white sweater and jean look for the casual section, and there was a um, white dress look for the dressy one. And that one really felt final for me. It felt like, you know, as I was taking photos, I'm like, I've done a lot of this before. Now that, that, that shooting with them wasn't great because we definitely got some new stuff. And it was a new studio, lots of good stuff, right? I've done all I want to do with this concept. I've actually ran this concept into the ground in a good way where I did everything I wanted to do with it. And looking back over this series, I think this is probably my best series. Um, I just finished doing a fall series this year and that was fun. But there's something about Christmas, there's something about the joy that comes around that year. There's something about those particular sessions. Like, I have fond memories of each session. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I could do a bunch more stuff in the future, and I probably will, but I got a special, special place in my heart for, for this series. This one was, you know, I can see my growth from the first one to, to, to last year. I can see where I grew as a photographer and where I grew even in terms of like, how to work with models and I just I'm really grateful to be able to have done this series um I hope that anyone who has seen them they have the same uh, same feeling same reaction that these are just really good photos um and I yeah I'm just grateful to have been able to do this it was great
Then we go. <laughs> Okay, we're done. It's time to go.